This guy is without question my intellectual man crush Monday. He dropped out of college at 19 so he could apprentice with the master author Robert Greene. In any and all situations, no matter how good nor bad, there's the opportunity to practice virtue. Ryan, why don't you say hi to the Vayner Nation and for the couple of them that don't know who you are. And virtue can be a bit of a loaded, you know, difficult word, so we'll replace it with excellence. It's a chance to practice excellence. Ryan Holiday is absolutely my new favorite author of the moment. The ambition that takes people to great heights often is also what proves to be their undoing. Oh, wow. Former director of marketing for American Apparel and then wrote one of my favorite books of all time called Trust Me, I'm Lying. If your neighbor built his fence on your property, you would object. But if your neighbor came over and wasted 30 minutes of your time talking about something that you didn't want to talk about, you just politely nod your head, right? And this is the paradox because time is the most valuable reset resource. You can always get more property, but you can't get more time. And your strategies in growth hacking and advertising are used as case studies by Twitter, YouTube, and Google. I gave a talk to the Pittsburgh Pirates last year, and it, as I walked into their locker room, there was a quote on the wall. And it said, it's not things that upset us, but our judgment about things. They didn't know that this quote is actually also 2,000 years old, and it comes to us from Epictetus. And what Epictetus was saying is that the story we tell ourselves about what we're facing, the lens at which we look at it, and what, what we think of it, again, is gonna determine how we're going to be able to respond.